सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इन द अनदर वीडियो ऑफ रिएक्ट नेटिव सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी यूज द फायर बेस इन रिएक्ट नेटिव एप्लीकेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंप्लीट फायर बेस सेटअप विद एंड्रॉइड एंड आई ओ एप्लीकेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी गो इन द ब्राउजर वी मस्ट बी लॉग इन विद यूर जी मेल एप्लीकेशन बिफोर यूजिंग द फायर बेस सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी लॉग इन विद माई ई मेल आई डी सो इफ यू डिड नॉट लॉग इन विद योर ई मेल सो यू नीड टू लॉग इन विद योर ई मेल सो नेक्स्ट थिंग वी जस्ट टाइप हेयर फायर बेस सो दिस इज द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ऑफ द फायर बेस एंड हेयर वी जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस लिंक सो द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ऑफ द फायर बेस विल बी ओपन सो वी कैन यूज द फायर बेस ऑलमोस्ट ऑल टाइप ऑफ एप्लीकेशन इन द वेब एंड इन द mobile apps and we can use the firebase in the back end services also here we just click on the go to console so if you did not add any project on the firebase so you will see this type of web page because i did not add any project yet so my screen is looking like this so if you already added any project so you will see your project name here so we just click on the get started with firebase project and here you just need to add the name of your project suppose i just add the name of my project is coding gyan because this is the name of our application coding gyan so just i am giving here a name coding gyan is the name of our project and just click on the continue so here you will see all type of services that google provides us firebase crash alertics cloud messaging app messaging remote config testing and cloud functioning so all these type of services provided by the firebase and firebase actually a framework of google so here you can enable and disable the google analytics for this project so you can disable it this and you can enable it so later we can also enable it so suppose in the beginning i am disabling all these services and later we will use all these type services with their implementation but in the beginning i am just disabling it and just create the project so it will take few second we just wait for it so now project actually is created and here message is showing your firebase project is ready so we just click on the continue and in the few second you just see this type of web page on your firebase screen so here you can see the message get started by adding firebase to your app so you can add here iOS application you can add here android application and you can add here web application and all type of uh, services that product categories you will see here that you can app hosting authentication data connect firebase database function hosting so all these firebase services is showing in the left side so later we will use all firebase services but in this lecture we just connect our application with the firebase so we just hide it and here first we just create the application for the ios so just i click on the ios so you will see here this type of screen here you need to add the bundle id and app name so i just go inside our project and open the ios directory and here we just open this file exe workspace so i just click uh, reveal in finder and just double click on this file so in the few seconds xcode will be open and here you can see the bundle identifier of your application you can 
change here also if you want to change the bundle id but i don't want to change so i just copy this from here and go inside the firebase and just paste here so this is the bundle identifier and this is the name of our application so just type here the name of the application and just click on the register so you will see this type of screen after register so now you will see here a message that register app will be ticked with the bundle id com dot coding yarn dot app and here you can download the google service info p list so just i click on this and here the screenshot is showing that we will add this google service info p list inside the xcode application so here we will save and here the pop-up is showing where you want to save your google service info p list suppose i want to save inside the download and just click on the save now go inside the download and here you will see this file so we just need to add this file inside the xcode so here you will see if you are working on the native application so this process is same for the native ios application or react native application so this is our application and we need to add here so we just drag and drop the google info plist file inside here and here if copy items if needed is not selected so we just select it but it is already selected and add to target is coding yarn because we want to add inside the coding yarn so we just click on the finish and you will see that google service info p list inside your coding yarn project so we can click on this and you will see here the bundle id is com.codingyarn.app and this is the app key this is the unique key for each project and here we will complete all other step and here we install the firebase dependencies if any so we need to add the firebase sdk so this is for the swift if you are using the native ios so this step we don't need to add firebase sdk we will add with the npm package so we don't need to follow this step uh, we will click on the next and here three type of option is showing here swift ui if you are using the swift ui and if you are using swift and if you are using objective c so in the react native by default objective c is selected so we just select on the objective c and we just import this so we just copy from here so this is already copied and go inside the xcode and go inside the app delegate dot m file and here we need to import firebase core and next point we need to add firebase configure so we just copy from here and just paste here and click on the next so you are all set so you can also read the document if you want to learn more about the firebase and you just click on the continue to console after this you will see this type of screen and your ios application will be see here you can click on this and here you will see the project name project id and all the information of your application will be see here so you can also download the google service info p list from here if you did not download at the installation time so because uh, in the single project we can add the multiple application for the different different type of platform so this is for the ios but now we will add the app for the android so we can also add the app from here or at the beginning when you select when you select all your project and you click on the project 
so here you will also see the option for add a app so project name is coding yarn so in this project we can add multiple apps so suppose I want to add the new app from here you can also add the inside but uh, suppose just I want to add here so I click on the add and here you will see again the different different type of platform options so we want to add this app for the Android so we just select here Android and here you will just need to add the Android package name so in the iOS we call bundle ID but in the Android we call this package name so we just paste here because we already copy the bundle ID in the Android and in the iOS we can use the different package name and bundle ID but we are using the same bundle ID and package name for the both type of application I am just taking here the same name so just I copy the app name from here and just paste here and just click on the register so we can follow all the step after connecting the device with your system but you can also complete the step without connecting the device with your system so you will see here this type of screen so here a screenshot is showing that we need to add the google service dot json file inside app so if you are working on the android studio so you need to go inside your android application and inside the app you need to add here and in the react native we will go inside the android folder so first we need to download this file suppose we want to download inside the downloads just click on the save now go inside the download and here you will see your file google service.json and now go inside your project uh, because we are working on the react native so here in the android folder and here is the app so here we need to add this file so we just drag and drop inside the app so this is the google service.json and here you can see the package name we have added on the firebase and all the project information you will see in this file project number project id so all the firebase information you will see in this file and without this file you cannot connect your application with the firebase so now we need to click on the next and here few step is given we need to follow all these steps uh, this is for the kotlin if you are using groovy so this is for the groovy so we are using kotlin we, uh, so we need to go inside the root level project root level gradle file and here we need to add this dependency so here at the root level we need to add this plugin so we just copy this and go inside the android root level build.gradle so this is the build.gradle and here we need to this dependency for the gradle plugin so here we are adding the plugin so in the same format we need to add this plugin suppose i just copy and paste here so i am just copy from here and just paste here so version i need to add here 4.4.2 and just add here like this so we are using here version 4.4.2 apply false we just add here apply false so actually we need to add this inside the dependency because we here is given the dependency of the google service we just add here And just copy from here and use apply false and we just comment this line here and we just save it and again go inside the 
Firebase and here next step is that we need to change it inside the app level in the Gradle file. So we go inside the app and open here build.gradle so in the app level and here we need to add the dependency so here we will add the google service gradle plugin and inside the dependency we just add this dependency so i just copy here this line so here we need to add two things first plugin is the com.android.application so this is given here but this is already added so we don't add this again and another plugin is this so in the same format we just add this so if you are using a id format so we just add in the id format but we are using here apply plugin so in the same format we just add this and we just remove this code from here and another dependency is the so we just copy this and go inside the dependency and here we need to add this line like this and just save it so now this step is also completed and now we click on the next and here you are all set message is showing so we need to click on the continue to console and finally you will see here two application one for the ios and one for the android so you can click any one of them so just i click on the android so you can see here all the project details and here you will see the both app for the android and for the ios so here you can also later download the google service dot json file and here is the package name you can see here so we have completed all the steps for setting the android and the ios application so like this you can set the firebase setup in your android and ios application so in the next lecture we will implement the firebase authentication in our both type of application so if you have any doubt regarding to the firebase setup so please let me know in the comment section so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thanks for watching